Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how we can find appropriate venues, appropriate conferences for our papers and this is targeted towards IEEE conferences. IEEE conferences are suitable for uh, uh, work that is related to engineering, especially electrical engineering or electronics engineering and computer science, right? For that you need to come to this address which I'm going to put into the description that is IEEE.com org slash conferences okay so there are different ways to search appropriate conferences okay you can search by the title of a conference right in that case your search is majorly targeted towards when it's occurring and is the call for paper is open or not in other cases you can search the conferences by keywords okay so the keywords are the best thing or the best appro most appropriate way to search a suitable conference for you and the last way, the last thing is by location. And you can also, since the start of COVID, you can also apply a, a check on the virtual uh, event or not. Okay, so let's uh, give it a try. <clears throat> Talking about uh, the location thing. So let's say I write Pakistan. So usually we Pakistani students do not get any funding for conferences. We have to fund that by ourselves. So uh, the most suitable way is to find a conference inside our country so that we can spend less money on on traveling and uh, usually the conferences held in Pakistan don't have that uh, very high publication charges or registration charges so if I write Pakistan here it's going to show me a list of conferences coming up in Pakistan right like this is the first conference right this is a conference that is uh, uh, conducted by uh, NUST right so if I click here it's going to redirect me to the next page where it's going to tell me that the call for paper deadline is complete or not right so here we have the deadline of 28 feb okay don't rely on this date you should go to the conference website because as i know the call for paper for this particular conference was extended it, it was extended to the mid of march as i remember so i you should always go to the website okay and from there you should verify whether the call for paper is come uh, ended or not okay so the submission deadline is 10 march now okay that was the point i want to make clear another important thing is usually uh, it's very convenient for students like us who cannot travel because they have to fund their travel uh, it's always good to search for virtual conferences so you should tick mark this there's none coming in pakistan but usually virtual conferences have far less publication p here i have a paper this is my paper which is related to human activity recognition although it's a journal paper but let's see if we have to find a virtual conference uh, related to ambient assisted living can we find such or not okay so they i could not find any for this so you can go for another keyword okay let's say human activity recognition right let's give it a search so here is the one that is coming up and you can see it's related to biomedical robotics right exactly in phase with my work right now is it a virtual conference or not let's apply that check yeah there's another one that is i'm not sure it's not in english it's related or not let's check that but that is related to that is a virtual one yeah it is related so here we get the keyword activity recognition right it's a virtual conference coming up in san jose right let's go to the website and see the details so the deadline is 17 june right and you can go to the website to verify uh, the registration fee etc etc or uh, to check the relevancy or not okay going back let's write a very journal keyword okay let's do a search on pakistan again remove this virtual thing okay there's another these are the list of the conferences that are coming up in pakistan okay so let's check this one it's a very famous one uh, that's conducted by pass Isla, uh, karachi the deadline is 26 june right so that is it for this video let's say uh, let's try another thing if you already know about the conference name Mm. then you can do a search on that as well just to verify whether the uh, submission is closed or not so we can say cvpr it's a famous conference for uh, 
in the area of computer vision like one of the best in the world so here we can see that this is the date of uh, on which the conference will be held but it's not showing us other details means like call for paper is open or not right so we have to go to the conference website usually CVPR have uh, the submission uh, dates which are around half a year before the actual conference is being held so yeah that is exactly the case right so this is the way you can find a suitable venue for you right usually for Pakistani students as I mentioned cost is a big factor so I recommend searching conferences in Pakistan or Indonesia so Indonesia uh, in my experience conferences that are being held in Indonesia are pretty affordable right you can find virtual events there right there are a couple of few virtual conferences a couple of uh, conferences that are coming up in the field of um, uh, electrical engineering and computer sciences uh, at Indonesia which are um, which are which are virtual so you can search in that way as well let's say let's check for this one let's check its registration fee on how much it's costing us right submission schedule pricing oh it's pretty much but usually that's not the case uh, so it is two hundred dollars for uh, students okay for short paper and 225 but usually that's not the case for our Indonesian conferences. So here we have, right? International participants, it's student proven the given ID, it's just $150 right so 150 dollars is relatively very less compared to con uh, conferences that are being held in big countries like uh, us or uk right so that is it for this video um do give me your feedback and uh, uh, stay tuned to the channel i'm going to uh, keep on sharing my research experience with you and uh, uh, making videos on research methodologies so do subscribe Thank you very much.